Welcome to Transport Fever 2 today. We're starting our very own transport company. I am so excited to be back in Transport Fever 2 creating our very own transport company today. We're located in Los Angeles. We're playing with USA map. Not really a map. It's a random generator map. A USA map? No. What am I saying? It's a USA names. When you're doing USA names and USA vehicles. So it's pretty much going to be a USA series, guys. Welcome to Transport Fever 2, guys. Hope you're doing super awesome today. Little bit of a longer start to an intro, but guys, we're back into this Transport Fever 2. There's been some updates in the game, and uh, we're back. There's better management and everything like that. We're going to go over everything like that in this series, guys. We're going to get straight into today's video. We're not going to muck around too much like we do in most of our videos, but guys, if you guys are new here, guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Aiden, and we upload brand new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Wait, did I say that? Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at 12 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And guys, speaking of when we upload, guys, if you want to see some more Transport Fever 2 today, smash a like on the video, guys. Can we get five like on today's video? When you guys smash a like on the video, guys, gets these videos out to more and more people just like yourselves. And guys, speaking of getting these videos out to more and more people and liking and liking, guys, if you don't want to miss out on any new videos of Transport Transport Fever 2 this series, guys. Smash the red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any new videos and turn your post notifications on as well because that's the golden ticker for you to get notified when we upload. All right, let's get straight into today's video. Wow, that was a really quick start to an intro. I've never done that. <laughs> super quick. That's super, super quick. I am really doing well today. I'm super excited to be back. Thank you guys for all your love and support on the Software Inc. series and, of course, our airport CEO series that we are currently playing and yeah i've got to get used to some of these controls once again all right we're gonna get straight into today's video all right we can't waste much time man aiden hurry up and get into the video <laughs> hurry up aiden and get into the video that's what we gotta do isn't that right guys all right how do we play the game well i don't know we're gonna just start placing in down some things and hopefully things work out nicely for us <laughs> i don't know guys i don't know i don't know don't ask me don't ask me i gotta somehow get uh, used to all all these controls again like i did say i did say that yep i did say that all right let's place that in over there we're gonna go and place one in over here and uh maybe i should then maybe start talking about actually you know what i've got to start talking about i've got to start talking about what we're doing all right we're in los angeles so we've been talking about i think they were talking about some stuff that's changed right so what conflict nerds actually doing i watched part of his um software the uh, transport people 2 series so what happens is over time let's say los angeles if we just focus on los Angeles and just focus on providing Los Angeles with uh, what is it? Um, tools and fuel. If we focus on supplying Los Angeles with just two things, right, that is really good for us, right? If we supply them with just two things, the town will grow and over time they're gonna want more things from us, right? So maybe over time they might want bread, right? They might want, I don't know, <laughs> what else? What else have we got? Machine parts. They might want goods. You know, over time they might want things and of course over time as long if like these factories our industries if they're not getting used over time they will slowly disappear like they've gone out of business right there's been no business so they've, they've had to close up shop pretty much that's how the games are working so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with fuel so that's what you see me placing in down now i'm a little bit i uh, don't know like what i'm really doing right but we're going to learn together and likewise guys if you do have any thoughts and suggestions on what we should do during this series guys comment down below and let me know. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated, guys, like always. All right. I want to maybe... Um, can we go like here? Because I've heard that it would be good to go something like this. Yeah, let's go like that. So we're going to place that in. That looks really good. All right. We need to get a road depot. We might just get a road depot. Whoa, the sensitivity on the mouse is crazy. And I haven't even changed anything from the last series. But I've got to get used to these controls again because it's so different to like, you know, Software Ring. Software Ring has these controls and, you know, um, maybe I should um, bind it, like bind the keys, you know, really like try and just change the keys up a little bit, maybe. That might be something really good to look at. All right, we've also got a few mods that we're looking at. We're looking at cash flow, seeing um, how much maintenance is costing, how much we're charging in interest and what our income is. So it'll be like cash flow. And there's also auto line coloring. So all the lines that we do will be auto colored, right? So we're going to go from fuel. So we're going to get the raw oil. 
oil or fuel i should say or oil and we'll take it to the refinery up here which will be right here let's pause the game right now from there we're gonna come over and we're gonna dump it over here all right so wow so there's this, there's a lot of things that we can do here so that's that is good to see um i don't know why i would have two there it'd be best to go into here go into configure um figure out there and refund that all right that looks a bit better let's go back into the line management so we got miami exchange right so what we are going to do over here is we're going to load up on raw oil 100 percent we're going to come over to over here we're going to go into oh sorry whoops wrong, wrong button we're going to go over to here and we're going to unload oil and we are going to load up fuel right or i think that's like raw what do they call this one oil well so we're going to take our oil drums and turn it into oil right <laughs> and then we're going to take it to miami east and we're going to unload that oil and that's all we're going to do all right so that line is set up nicely we need to take that fuel to los angeles right that's a bit of a trip from here to up here it is a bit of a trip but we are going to make it work out so we're going to come into here going to go into truck stop and as you can see they want it around here somewhere so we're going to just chuck it in the middle of the town and i think the middle of the town will be all right we'll go into here we're going from the truck stop and um i understand why i had two there now i understand why i had two and then we're just going to come up the top here all right that's good we're going to come in to this one here quickly going to go into configure going to go cargo we're going to go cargo platform all right what do we what do we got here they're going to come in that way so maybe what do we got that's line one so i think the black one is line one so we can put that on two and put that one on one i think that might be all right i think that'll be okay yeah uh mm, yeah and that should be able to take that over there i want to change the line color though the line color is crazy let's change the line color we'll go there and we'll go yellow all right go like this <laughs> all right let's do that how's that working now better okay loop so this will be we'll call this the miami because it is ran miami it is the miami so we'll call it the miami we've got to call this right naming miami oil uh fuel loop fuel loop all right so it's the miami fuel loop and then we've got miami fuel miami fuel to los angeles los angeles i think i spelled that right if i'm not oh well <laughs> All right, so we've got those two on there. So now we can come into the road depot, buy some vehicles, and we're going to get horse and carriage. How good's that? Oh, that's a shame that that's all we've got for today. But we're going to go six. We'll buy six of those vehicles. And we'll chuck them on the Miami fuel loop. Then we'll buy another fuel them. We'll buy, I think, another four. Six, maybe. We'll go six. We'll buy another six. And we'll chuck them on the Miami fuel to Los Angeles. Okay. There's some problems here. Cargo cannot be used by a passenger vehicle. <laughs> Did I get the wrong one on here? Oh, God. No. Okay. Let's come to here. We're just going to replace that with that. Bus, truck, not capable. What are you on about? Ah. Ah. <laughs> what are you on about? What are you talking about? What are you on about? Game. I want to replace it with this one. Bus, truck, not capable. Can I come into here? All right. That worked. Place. All right. Well, if, mate, I will just sell you then. Can I just sell you? All right. And then what I'll do is I'll just buy some more vehicles. Like, what's... Okay, game. You're, game, you're a bit silly today, aren't you? Game, you're a bit silly. All right. My Miami Fuel to Los Angeles. Los Angeles is our home for the series. All right. Time to also come down here and build our headquarters. Oh, yes. Got to build our headquarters somewhere. And what better place to build the headquarters than in Los Angeles? All right. We're going to turn this around. We're going to... Oop, oop, uh, oop, and right in. Right in here. There we go. Headquarters is in beautiful. All right. I'm really pleased please that's in now how are we going now are we currently working are we doing things are we actually doing things are we working are we doing things miami fuel how's this going talking about shipment i hope i've got oh no yeah that's right miami to los angeles <laughs> Oh, God. I'm so silly. Let's go all of these. All six. They need to go on that one. All right. Okay. Now, can we make things work? Can we make things... i got to... Oh, man. I hate these controls. I'm using, like, the arrow keys to try and, uh, like, up and down, but it's not working. I think I'm going to rebind these controls. Now, we've got things working. Now, we're doing good. All right. We're doing all right now. It'll be based now to look at how we can make this all efficient as possible now. Instead of them turning around, I'm 
honestly thinking, can we... Hmm, I can't, like, pick this up. Can I, like, pick it up somehow? I think I just have to build another one, don't I? All right, we'll go zero. Turn this... Ah, no. <laughs> I really got to buy these controls. I'm going to put this here because I think that'll be a little bit more efficient uh, to have that there and just have, like, maybe this dirt road. I don't know. Um, Go from here to there. And we just delete this one. This one here is pretty much going to there. All right, so that's in. Now we can let the game just run now and see see what happens beautiful to see all right what i am gonna do is while i'm here is i'm actually gonna just start to rebind some of my controls quickly um that might pull maybe no it seems like i can't really um bind too much i'm just probably gonna have to get used to the game i think that's what we have to do i think we just got to get used to it all right how are we going now are we efficient we need oil over here mm. we're transporting oil is that, are we transporting oil oil is the town getting oil that's a question no not yet poor fuel poor fuel okay so they are slowly um they're slowly moving got 130 there all right i want to come into these lines let's pin that there let's come into vehicle management and let's um can i bring this one here up oh yeah we can oh beautiful i love to see it all right so we could see that the frequency for miami field to los angeles is three minutes um, we can drop that down, but we can't drop this one down unless this one goes up, right? So we're going to go six. We'll duplicate that by 12, 18 vehicles on there. 24, 24 vehicles should be all right. Should be all right. 27 seconds then. Then we can come into Miami. We can then go by another two and that'll cut from three minutes down to 92 seconds. All right. Now we've got a lot of vehicles coming on the line now, which is good to see. I'm really pleased. And the next thing that we need to do now is miami exchange the max stop time it will be 10 seconds when it gets to the other place it will be 10 seconds and 10 seconds right it's basically stop for 10 seconds and go straight away right we're not gonna wait wait too too long right basically it's just like saying right well if we don't have anything in storage disappear pretty much just disappear all right i think we're doing all right now that's a bit odd having that road in the water that's cool we're gonna look at some other things soon all right and and we're going to... I want to look at this. I want to look at um, tools. Tools will be good. I think tools we can start looking at soon. And I would definitely would like to get Miami underway. I think Miami, getting Miami under underway is going to be good. So we're going to work in Miami at the moment. Miami and Los Angeles we're going to work in at the moment. Oh, God. And that's the turnaround. And we're going to place one in there. We're going to... We need a double in here, don't we? Yeah, we'll need a double. Let's go into here. Place that one in there. And what we will do here is, however, is go to configure. We'll go straight access. And I want one that comes in, purely in. All right. And then comes in there. And you could go out there. Uh, no. Look, that should be all right. It should be okay there. Then I want to go straight access. Go straight. Uh, can we do one way? One way streets? I don't know. That'll be all right. Um, let's do curve tool. Can we do a curve tool? Like there. Like that. That should be all right. Like there. And that can come down. Come into there and then come around and loop back. That's fine. And then we'll go back into buildings. We'll go zero. We'll make sure we put one in there. So in terms of the loop, oh, I'm trying to think of the loop. Trying to think of the loop. The loopity loop, loop, loop. All right, there's going to be a few lines that we're going to have to do here. Oh, God. Let's not create too many lines at the moment. Let's go add station. We'll go from here to here. That'll be the first, first loop. The second loop will be here to here. That's going to be a fair bit of distance that's going to need to travel. Mm. Might be best to bring Miami Central up here a little bit. So it's, so it's a shorter distance. And... Okay. All right. I think I know what I'm going to do. Let's get rid of that line. We are going to build another one just here. We're going to remove this. We're going to add a street in over here. And that will come into there. Add a nice street into there. Now we're going to come back into a new line. Actually, no. We're going to use the existing line. Come over to here. And then back the other way. All right. That's what we're going to do. And then we need to get in a building, a truck stop for tools and all of that. Which we'll put in around the center of the town a little bit. We'll come back into making some new lines, which will be this one. And we'll go from this station to... Miami. All right. So let's have a look. First line is going to be the Miami, um, the Miami timber loop, timber, Miami tool, tools loop, Miami tools, um, loop. 
And then this will be the Miami, Miami, um, tools to Miami. So I think that is pretty good. All right. Now we'll use this same road depot over here and we'll buy some vehicles. Going to go with this one here. We'll go eight, eight vehicles there. Or yeah, we'll go eight vehicles. We'll go eight vehicles. And we're going to put that on the Miami tools loop. Then we'll buy another, I don't know. We'll go six. And we'll put that on the Miami tools to Miami. All right, how are we going to go now? I think this should work out. We're going to start seeing the, this start filling up. Beautiful to see. Um, Miami tools. Do we? Oh, Aiden, how do you stuff that one up again? Come on, Aiden. What is going on? We want this one. Oh, God. Okay, let's just sell. And we'll buy some more vehicles, Aiden. <laughs> All right, let's buy some more vehicles. We'll get six. And let's chuck that on Miami Tools to Miami. There we go. All right. That is pretty good. I'm really, really pleased with that now. We are making cash. We are doing really well. In terms of our finances, we are paying a lot in interest. So we're going to pay much as much interest back as possible. So we don't need to worry about it. But we are doing pretty well now. We're doing pretty well. I'm quite pleased. We've got to just let the game now run. That's all we've got to do now. Let the game run. Get the horses and carriages going. In terms of the Miami tools loop. All right, so now this is where we can start looking at line statistics and then slowly look at how efficient is it going to be. The Miami, we'll go this one here. Miami fuel loop is doing pretty well. 27 seconds is pretty good, right? Miami fuel to Los Angeles. There's not enough fuel getting done. All right, so there's not enough fuel. Is there not enough fuel? How much is in here? Or oh, oh, sorry, this truck station. Maybe we've got to go more vehicles on here. So let's go with another four we'll duplicate another four on there so the miami tools loop we can see that's 92 seconds i want that to be faster i want that to be faster right currently got eight vehicles would oh <laughs> it'd be best if we had some money wouldn't it it, it would work if we had money let's duplicate all that we'll duplicate all eight vehicles so now that should drop all right once these vehicles start getting in the loop we should be able to drop that and in terms of the miami here we can duplicate that by four so from 92 seconds down to 55 seconds seconds so we can, i want to see i think i want to make this series more of how efficient can we make things right can we get enough vehicles on a line to make it really efficient to where it's breaking even even or so i want to make these lines as efficient as possible right so we're making two hundred thousand dollars over here but we're not making any money here right but in terms of cash flow you know you can actually see the true cost of what we're making like we're making forty six thousand fifty thousand fifty seven going up every single time so that is really good. And these lines are slowly changing. No, not really. Not really. So we're still probably waiting for a lot of these vehicles to get into this loop over here. This is not making any money. It needs two. Why are you not making money? Is it because we just... Oh, okay. Horses and carriages are just coming into play now. So we'll see this one here. Now, this will be a really cool thumbnail too. We'll be able to get a nice thumbnail. We are loading up on some timber. There we go. All right. Look at us go. 17, 18 kilometers and hour that's absolutely crazy all right i think we can sound the horn can't we when you're wearing this one i don't know how you would sound a horn on a horse and carriage but we're gonna have a look can you, can you hear that can you guys hear that that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that, that sounded pretty awesome. All right. So now we're in and we're dumping it off here. All right. That's pretty good. All right. So, and you're picking up wood. So you're going to pick up wood. You're going to take it over here, And then you're going all the way back up to the forestry. Yeah. This is probably definitely a line that is definitely going to need to get more vehicles on there. There's a lot. There's a lot of transporting around and all of that. There's a lot going on. So we've got the money. So I'm not going to say, look, hey, we don't have the money, right? We're gonna turn our tools loop from 43 seconds down to how long 35 can we go down lower 35 to 29 that's good can we go lower can we go lower from 29 to 25 that should be good that's a very good loop there and in terms of our fuel loop in los angeles let's go with about four and let's duplicate that what are we at 20 uh oh no wrong wrong line that's 68 oh, we could get another two on that line 68, 61, whatever. And then we're going to go four over here. Duplicate by four from 26 
down to 23. Okay, you can see the timing ratio. Like, with four vehicles, you, you, you know, not really that much, you know, much improvement. But as you can see, the Miami Tools Loop is starting to turn a profit. As you see, Miami Fuel to Los Angeles is turning a profit now. That is really good to see. That is turning a profit. And we are breaking even on the Tools Loop. So the Miami Tools Loop has definitely got more vehicles coming. So if we have a look. There's a lot of vehicles on the way here. These are all the vehicles that are going in for this loop over here. So there's a lot happening here. All right, transport. That's going up. Leveling up. Beautiful to see. That's not going to level up. That's fine. In terms of over here, this is leveling up nicely. We're leveling up nicely there and there as well. All right. I'm very pleased with this. I'm very, very pleased with this. Uh, we're on one speed for um, date. So that's pretty good. Los Angeles is happening with 70% of the supply. I think the next thing that we will need to look at is what do we want to look at next mm, definitely maybe getting some more forestry in maybe i don't know um mm, i want to try and make this line here more efficient this but you know is it best to have you know we've got to go in here and all around here um is it best to put a train line in here how much will the train a train be i think a train costs a lot of money i don't think a train is going to be really good here i think this would be a nice road layout to um set up and make make good i don't know i don't know there's a few things we're gonna need to really look at this over here needs to be more efficient i think the over here can be more efficient um can we get question is can we get all right cargo we can't get both of them in there mm. Mm, mm. i want to try and see if we can try and set up some new lines that's what i would love to do um look miami has got the tools it's got the bricks i think in the next episode we can set up a train line i think a train line is going to be the next thing we should look at we should look at a train line next and go from west jordan all the way up to miami delivering bricks and it looking like we've got a nice setup here that we can really set up a really nice train route here um we've got los angeles coming in so we're gonna have a train track over here train track here make this like the main hub ish i don't know can we switch things up right can we all right i've got a question i've got a question if we place one of these down now if i look at this it does nothing does it cost me probably does <laughs> it probably does but if we have a look at this we just refund that for the time being we have a look we can come into here we can't delete any of these so that's all right we can't delete anything yet <laughs> yet of course we can go to train lines passenger passenger cargo cargo we could do one of these no i think one of these would be best one of these would be best 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 all right we'll do 120 centimeters all right of line well we will rotate this around all right so this is nice and square here all right and we're gonna have we can put this in nice and square we can chuck that in there right we can then we can rotate this around so it's 90 degrees right and i think we can build this out a little bit or can we go like this maybe but that'll be question because you are oh, you know mm. and then we could go like that so if you think about it we've got a train line coming in so we've got the brick network we've got the brick network going from here into here into miami and then from miami from the other miami station we're going from there over to los angeles and i think we set that line up too and i think that can be a passenger line um tools over there like does miami need tools we're at 50 percent so how much of this can we improve maybe we get some more forestry coming into here i think that would be decent getting some more forestry into here i think that would be good uh, in terms of our making money let's have a look yep we're all making money now so i think in the next episode what we are going to do is we're going to take a look at trains in the next episode it's going to be one of the costly projects but what we are going to do is we're going to set miami up and we're going to set los angeles los angeles up with the extra the next two items they need we're going to get our bricks bricks from west jordan into miami via onto this station here we're gonna get some more forestry going into over here into the sawmill and once we've got more forestry coming into the sawmill we're gonna make this line as efficient as possible because now we've got to split the tool factory up between miami and los angeles right so we've got to split that up now and um that's gonna be a bit of work but it might be also best for me to start looking at you know from west jordan oil well into here getting this going up pretty well maybe i don't know um well, we're gonna see we're gonna see because we want to connect los angeles one time uh los angeles to carry i want to uh, car carry 
Missouri. I think that's how you say it. I want to do that. But yeah, definitely we're going to look at bricks to Miami. And then from Miami, we'll get our tools to Los Angeles. And we'll also set up a passenger line as well on that same train. So now we're going to be st able to start getting passengers from Miami all the way to Los Angeles. I'm looking forward to it. We're making money, which is super cool. But in the next episode, we'll take a look at doing all of that. We're going to do all of that in the next episode. Um, and um, I'm not too worried. Look, Los Angeles is going to be big. I really would like to consider, consider. I know that we're using this field refinery over here, right? I want to maybe consider setting up um, an a oil refinery somewhere else in the map, right? So we know we've got an oil refinery here. We can make fuel here. But look at this. We can make fuel here. We've got oil here. And we've got a barrel there, barrel there, barrel there, barrel there coming into here. This area here could be the main hub for fuel. We can put an airport in here and uh, or tr a massive train cargo hub over here. And from here, we can start transporting to Los Angeles. We can go to Cary. We can come all the way down south over into this area here. I want to create a massive transport network. What's well, a bit that's the point of the game, right? But I think having an oil refinery here and having the oil here, just like right here, like I feel like we got one, two, three. I don't think I know. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I think all these these three a little bit too close to Miami, and it's a little bit too close to Los Angeles, right? It might be best for us to start setting up shops somewhere up here, even start supporting this um <laughs> this city over here. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Comment down below. But that's gonna be it for today's video. If you've got any thoughts and suggestions, comment down below. Let me know. But in the next episode, we're gonna set up some new train lines. We're gonna take a look at trains. That's what I should say. We're gonna take a look at trains and set up some new lines and start making more money. How much are we making in terms of income? We're making eight hundred thousand dollars in income. But as you can see here, we're making some decent money. And now it's about improving the lines. Improve the lines that we've got. Make sure Los Angeles and Miami have the required items. And just trying to make things as efficient as possible while making a lot of money. Alright, next episode, upgrading things. I've lost my words, but next episode, it's going to be cool. We're going to be able to make more money in the next episode. And once we start making more money, we can start expanding and making even more money. I think that's the point of the game, isn't it? To make a lot of money? What do you guys reckon? Comment down below. If you guys, if you enjoyed today's video, smash the like on the video. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you click the subscribe button right here. Click on me to watch the last video. Click down here to watch the full post of our last series, Software Ring. Guys, I'll catch you on Saturday's video at 12am. That's Chatton, this stand up, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys then.